welcome back to my channel if you don't know my name is nay and you're at normally nay i'm trying to find the intro how y'all feel about that one i don't know um what was I about to say i just did my makeup tell me what y'all think i feel like i did a little bit too light right here a little bit too much i might have to go back in and fix that so i don't look like a ghost but anyway um oh and i did falsies for the first time y'all I don't think they look that good, but I don't think they look that bad either. So, y'all let me know down below what y'all think. I'm going to keep trying and try to perfect it and see what happens. But, anyway, this is my labor and delivery vlog. Super long overdue. Super, super, super long overdue. Um, It most likely will be two parts, y'all, because so much happened. So much happened like so much happened so um i'm going to insert clips so i'm gonna talk to y'all and i'm insert clips of like what happened so um that morning it was the morning of the 29th so before that i was trying to induce my labor so i had drunk like some raspberry tea i was walking up and down the stairs um i think i drunk some castor oil but i drunk like a sip like it really wasn't nothing like i know it didn't do nothing um, because most said people said they had to take a much. I didn't even take a full tablespoon. Like it, it was literally nothing. So I know that didn't really help it. But I was walking up and down the stairs. I drank some raspberry tea. I took a bath. Like what else did I did? What else did I did? That's not correct. What else did I do? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, I was doing different things too, and I'll link the video down below of all the things I did, and I followed her steps um, to help induce my labor and it actually worked later on early on which i could have went into labor anyway so we really don't know but early on i end up um earlier that morning i could not sleep so i did all that stuff probably around nine o'clock finally got into bed y'all i could not sleep for nothing nothing so i'm up moving around and my stomach was hurting like i was having cramps i couldn't really tell if they were contractions or not because i don't know what contractions feel like but they weren't that intense to me they just felt like really bad cramps so i'm like dang i have cramps so i'm sitting there like could not sleep moving around moving around of course they're getting, getting a little bit more intense a little bit more intense and so i'm like dang um so um they're getting more and more intense so i'm like okay whatever couldn't move around couldn't move around i mean i couldn't go to sleep couldn't go to sleep so then i kept moving around excuse me so then at what time was it oh i start praying y'all you know you gotta go to the lord <laughs> like i start praying i'm like lord please send me a sign if i'm going this later please send me a sign because i really don't know like please send me a sign like if i'm going into labor please let me know right now let my water break and i found out like only 15% of women water actually break so I'm like lord please let my water break because I don't know what I'm doing like please so um like 5 20 something I feel like I'm laying down I feel like a, a very small like pop and I'm like hmm that's different so I'm like okay I'm still laying there I'm like all right is that my I'm like I don't know so I'm like oh so I just get up because at this point the contractions really hurt. So I'm like, dang, um, let me get up. So I stood up. As I stood up, literally, I just started feeling stuff leaking down. I couldn't control it. So I go to the bathroom. Like, oh, I need to go pee. When I get to the bathroom, I'm like, oh, no, my water definitely did just break. So I'm like, okay, cool. So at that point, it's leaking. Like, there ain't nothing I can do about it leaking. So I call my husband. I'm like, babe, my water broke or whatever. He um, was headed to work. So he turned back around, come home whatever and i jumped in the shower and you guys will see that clip right here hey y'all good morning it is um six o'clock six o'clock in the morning and i believe my water just broke i'm almost positive it did so this is the start of the vlog i just got out the shower our kill actually just pulled up right now so we're about to get ready to go um once we get to the hospital i'll tell y'all more what's been going on for the last couple hours but i'm pretty sure my water broke this is a little bit too much but i'm gonna show y'all anyway but if you can see it's just like and then we went to 
um the hospital of course checked in did all that good stuff and um so let me tell y'all real quick so y'all can see the rest of the video let me tell y'all what my birth plan was my birth plan i did create a birth plan and me and my doctor went over it my birth plan was i wanted to do it natural um first and foremost disclaimer i was open to whatever whatever was gonna get the easiest way to get the baby out but personally i didn't want to have medicine because two things one i am afraid of shots y'all i don't care what nobody say i'm a punk I am afraid of shots to the end of time. They hurt. I don't want to get them. I'm not for it. No. So that was the first problem. And then um, I didn't want to. Once I gave delivery, I wanted to be able to just, you know, of course I knew I was going to be able to jump right back into it. But the whole point was I didn't want to be drowsy off medicine. I wanted to be able to be alert. I wanted to be able to get a walk around. Um... I want that was the whole point of me going natural not because I'm like oh I don't want to get epidural I'm too good no that wasn't the case at all one I was afraid to get it two I wanted to be alert and more like I don't want my legs to be swollen or anything like that I wanted to just be fine when I got done giving birth I know people who say most times after they you know have a natural birth they feel fine afterwards they don't feel they feel perfectly fine so that was the whole point of me doing it did not go like that y'all will see um so I wanted to get um, hydrotherapy, which is basically like in a pool in Virginia. I live in Virginia. You can't um, give a, do a water birth. That was my original plan. Didn't do that. Um, so I couldn't have a, uh, I couldn't, you can't give, um, you can stay in there up until about nine centimeters. So I'm like, okay, so I'm requesting a room with a tub. Well, they didn't have one at the time a girl was coming in or whatever. Um, a girl was wrapping up to leave and I'll be able to have her room after she, um, you know, was done doing her discharge and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? They check me. Y'all, I'm only, I think I was two centimeters, two or three centimeters. Like I was not far along at all. And that's at six o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, dang. So my car attractions, they're, they're coming, but they're not overly intense. So I'll show y'all a clip of that. Y'all, so we at the hospital. This girl is so hilarious. I swear. Look at her. Your back, back hurt. I hope the baby isn't like they said in her. I know, face it towards your back. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that's called though. Anterior? You think so? I was gonna say a face, but that might be a too. I, I can't remember the exact term. But she said the baby might be face funny, that's why. Mm -hmm. It's not controlled in my back so much. Yeah. Yeah, I remember they said that. Yeah, they just said you start with back liver pains, right. which are way more worse than regular. Regular, right. Oh, man. Can I do my room tour? Do my room room's tour. Pretty big. Yeah, it's a big room. You know? Oh. Nothing too crazy. I mean, man, that shower looks terrible. But yeah, I mean, little TV, you know. I could move the couch. The couch don't look comfortable, but I could move it. You know, I don't have HDMI, but I could hook my PlayStation. Okay. Um, fast forward a couple of hours. It's about ten. At that point, I'm five centimeters. So I'm like, okay, an hour a centimeter. I'm cool with that. I I can do that. So I'm like, okay, you know, five more hours. I should be ready to go. The pain ain't that bad. I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I can do this. This ain't that bad. At that time, my mom and them are headed um, up there and stuff. And so I'm like, okay, I could do that. I could do this. If this is how it's going to be and it gets a little bit more intense, I can do it with no medication or nothing. I'm good. So. Hey, y'all. I am five centimeters. And what time is it, babe? Mmm. 9.30. So it's, it's going at a decent rate. I can't say it's going super slow. Um, I'm on this ball. I'm waiting for them to get me the room with the bathtub so I can get in that for the next forever. Couple hours, hopefully. <laughs> Contraction. Oh. Uh -oh. Remember to breathe. 
Right. I'm still requesting to get in the pool and or to be in um in the thing but in the uh tub but then they wanted to my doctor was like well let me monitor the baby for a little while just to make sure everything looks good i'm like okay and now uh and so i'm like okay so we do that for a little while and then the nurse come back and i'm like hey can i get in the thing and they was like oh we still waiting on the doctor to say it's okay I'm like, well, she said she only wanted to monitor for a little while. So, to me, that's already okay. Like, let's go. At that point, I'm getting a little irritated because my pain is getting worse, you know? And so, I'm like, all right. Oh, I forgot to mention the number one thing. I was having back labor. Ah. So, that was the killer. The contractions I could control because I knew when they were coming and going. You know, uh, or, you know, they'll start and then they'll be gone. Back labor did not stop. It is all the way through because of where he was sitting at. It was all the way through. Non-stop, 100% pain the whole time. Now, at this time, I'm like, okay, I can still deal with it because I want to, um, I really want to do it natural. I, I just, I can deal with it. Never got the tub, y'all. Never got the tub. And I'll show y'all a couple more clips. Then I start throwing up TMI. But I started throwing up, y'all. And at this point, I had an eight. They wouldn't give me nothing to eat at the hospital. So I'm throwing up stomach fluids. Like, it was terrible. So, um, around 2 o'clock, I finally was like, give me... Give me the epidural. Like, I need it. <laughs> give, give me epidural. And no one forced it on me or anything like that. So, that's what I can say. No one was like, you want an epidural? Like, no one forced it on me. None of the nurses, none of the doctors. They was like, okay, you doing it, girl. Keep going. But at that time, I was exhausted. I had almost been up for almost 24 hours because I didn't get no sleep that night before. And I was up the whole day before. Um, and so, I had been up for almost 24 hours. I think it was like 20... 19 hours or 20 hours I had been awake. I was so exhausted. You know, if you're pregnant, you're tired as I don't know what. So, I was so exhausted. And I was just like, please, just give me the epidural. Like, that's all I want. I just want to take a nap. Oh, first I asked for the little I, the little um, IV medicine. Trash, y'all. Don't get it. My friend told me not to get it. I didn't listen. Don't get that mess. That it is... It's... It's trash. Okay, I didn't do nothing. Literally, I didn't feel nothing. I'm like, did y'all put it in there? Like... I didn't feel it. <laughs> Please. So, then I got the epidural, y'all. That's at 2 o'clock. Now, I told y'all I was dilated 5 centimeters at 10 in the morning. At 2 o'clock, I was still 5 centimeters. So, I'm like, okay, wait. This timing that I had is off because at this point, I should be pushing. I should be ready to go. Like, I should be close to, to 9 and I should be pushing. No. Y'all, that's not how it happened. So I was still five centimeters. So I'm like, dang, what the heck? What's going on? <laughs> hey, y'all. So it is, what time is it? Wait. It's five something. Five fifteen. Five fifteen. Technically, have been close to twelve hours. And I went and got the epidural. <laughs> I was not a happy person. It definitely was not half as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh oh. I need to sit up. I don't throw up in that thing. That is part one of my labor and delivery vlog. If you guys want to see part two, stay tuned because it will be up. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have an amazing and awesome day as you are awesome. And don't forget to follow me on my socials. Deuces.